so mike wayne is leaking a ton of information right and a lot of people a lot of y'all's favorite creators are saying that 2k24 is going to be the best 2k ever that it's going to be better than prime fortnite with the introduction of crossplay if everything he's saying about the gameplay is true so before we get into all that y'all make sure y'all subscribe if you new. help me hit 276.3k we're like 80 subscribers away and make sure you hit that goddamn like button it helps young swan grow so look they over here catering to goddamn sim nation now look right here i commented under this tweet because as i already told you before standing dunks are very broken in every 2k a lot of people just don't know it's probably the most underrated thing that's really been broken in every 2k right if you add the skill dunk meter to that to when people can really do it it's going to break the game like if you you know like because imagine someone just keep running to the paint and just trying to find a way to run to the paint and then just mm, that's scary that's really scary because you could really break the game bro and i don't think that's cool because they've never really been able to really fix the standard dunks in any 2k so it's like very scary bro wreck is green or miss finishing is affected in adrenaline boost i wonder how that's going to be implemented now look mike wayne just said wreck bots will be noticeably better with timing their shots this is it scary but it's tough to balance we want them to be competent, but not OP. We'll be looking out for your guys' feedback on that next month. Now look, here's my thing. Now look, I'm a god, okay? So y'all might not understand it, but try to listen. So when I go into the wreck with randoms, say I'm normally, I could drop 50, 60 on somebody, right? It's a real user. The second he quits out, my points is cut in half. It's not. Here's why. Because when that when I try to exploit the AI, people will bait off their man to then stop me, right? And then you also can't just run past the AI. The AI has better defense than almost every user on the game, right? Y'all know how it is. And then it's like instant steals too. And then the only way you can exploit them is like doing the snatch back the step back, etc. right? And then most of your teammates, they don't even know how to exploit the AI. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Like they're horrible. Like almost only an advanced player knows how to exploit the AI, right? So to then make it to where the bots can shoot and almost no one in the game can shoot. Y'all know if you play with random. Bro, 80% are hot, man. 90% of your teammates suck at shooting if you play with randoms, bro. To then make it to where the AI can shoot and play defense to where you can't drive and go get a dunk and all that different type of stuff. That literally makes the rec bots better than 80% of players, right? That means I could literally just destroy teams with AIs like easily. I don't, I don't know. It's tough to balance. See, th this is something I can understand. I can understand how it's hard to balance something like this, especially with everybody giving a different. This is one of the things I don't really be like, you know, on 2K side, it's very easy, black and white for me with certain things, but this is very tough. It's dangerous. I don't know, man. I, I think, I think it's, I don't know, bro. It's, it's, it's a tough situation, man. But I've already seen this year, like stage players lose to AIs because they, they already made it to where they could shoot better on 23, right? I've seen people lose to AIs in 1v1s. Bro, I've seen it. Like, like comp people, like I've seen them. That should never happen, bro. You feel me? Because the, bro, I'm telling you, like as soon as someone quits out, it can make it to where it's way harder to win and i don't think it should be like that you know because then when you try to exploit them they just run and bait and it i don't know y'all might y'all might start being like attacking me and stuff i'm just trying to explain like i'm just trying to explain bro i'm not talking about me from experience i have seen comp stage heads who would destroy you 21-0 lose to ais bro i promise you and they're losing their mind I promise you, dog. I promise you, bro. So he's saying, and when you play online, you have to green dunks to make them. So this doesn't mean that it's going to be harder to get your skill dunk. Green or miss does not mean it's harder to make the shot. 
it's just a visual illusion a lot of people are being misled basically all the whites you made from last year are probably gonna 90 percent of them or if not way more are going to be green now it's a visual thing the make percent is what really matters and and all that so i guess he's saying when you're wide open and you want to do one of these skilled things with the with the little meters it's super big but when it's contested it shrinks so i don't know hopefully like when you're going for it, it does this like real quick like you know that would be annoying but now mike wayne tweets out that shooting badges don't impact percents like they used to they just modify your attributes i think this is like the same thing i think this is like the same thing it doesn't really make sense why he would say this but this seems like the same thing to me y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. i don't know why mike is answering dumb questions of course euro dunks and hop dunks are still in the game this is why i, I question i question like mike wang's head dog now look to be honest bro to be honest they're having a debate about so basically every time you reach or jump you're gonna lose stats on your my player right <clears throat> some people are saying it's too harsh right but when fanta went and tested the game he was saying that the defense was op they had to be testing this type of stuff so i don't know i don't know but it's seeming like they don't go with the five to ten percent anyway but how it originally was with him testing the game he was saying it was still broken and i'm sure they didn't even bring it to the five to ten percent so we gonna see uh it's nice to start it off like this but things do need to be adjusted if it is crazy i don't think they really put defense in the game i just think they really nerfed offense to be honest y'all let me know how y'all feel uh about that bro we got the new dribble animations steph and trey unlocked at 92 steve francis unlocked at 95 and you know they gonna make that hoe hard to get so you can still get contact dunks with just the square button and not using the uh skill dunk thing but he says it's based on your ratings and it's more of a dice roll but the frequency he says the frequency goes down dramatically if you're playing hall of fame or in record park so that's for all y'all that want that answer okay so takeover is basically the same so people aren't going to be able to see your percent for your takeover so you're going to have to tell them what your percent is by the way so you will be able to white alley-oops y'all let me know how y'all feel about that so he's asking baloo but what is your favorite thing about the pro play he's saying basically shots moves and passes that change the gameplay for the better hopefully I don't know, man. There's twice as many new pass styles. Y'all know they were a fail in 23, pass styles return. So if y'all didn't know, you could basically get whatever takeover you want when you do get takeover, and it will boost up those ratings that you're choosing for your takeover, right? And it's not gonna make you crazy OP. Like if you still have a, if you have a low rating, like for rebounding, you're still gonna be a bum. That That's what, that's what Mike Wang is saying. Your defensive adrenaline will be per possession so now you're gonna have the juice control you don't have to just always control your whole team when you get team take you can still do your guy again if you got a 25 shot rating if you choose shot creator takeover you ain't gonna choose you ain't gonna turn it to demar Derozan. so this is an amazing feature y'all this right here is an amazing feature y'all are finally starting to learn that this is street basketball this is the part, you feel me? This is they part, this is what it's about. I'm thinking Mike Wang's probably gonna be some type of mascot in the game. Y'all let me know if y'all would buy him or any other dev, etc. But this is cool, you are gonna be able to go up, taunt people, and drop them off. I'm gonna be going crazy with the taunt. Y'all let me know if this is a W. Break somebody ankle, start. <laughs> so in the wreck, y'all know people be throwing games and stuff. Y'all be hating like the meta players, but y'all really be the ones causing problems especially in the wreck <laughs> don't get the ball once start throwing that hoe but they saying if you go out of bounds it's, it's added to the grieving rules so now they probably have rules for people who throw games this is not it's not gonna work it's not really gonna help bro people aren't dumb they're gonna find a way to really throw the game and still be in the game bro the only way to truly fix this is to add a vote to kick system. And I think that would be immaculate. In every game I played in the past with a vote to kick system, it was hilarious, it was amazing, and it was very helpful. Of course, it'll be abused and stuff, but it's fine. It's funny. Like, 
It won't even be abused like that, bro. Trust me, bro. I'll probably be kicked out more than any of y'all. But if you're contributing to the team, bro, they're not just going to kick you. And if they do, it's, it's whatever. Like, play another game. Just, you know, maybe set it up to where certain quarters or certain grade too. But I think a vote to kick system would be the best. A lot of y'all too scared. and It's not going to happen to you. You're not like me. Okay, you're not going in there just talking trash to people for your own entertainment, right? People aren't just going to vote to kick you. Insta it's, bro, it's just going to be funny. It's going to create way more energy and content. Y'all got to get behind me, bro. I know what I'm talking about. Trust me. There's nothing wrong with a vote to kick system. So, Baluba is just saying some lame stuff that he says every year. 75, three point, blah, blah, blah. You know, he said it's pretty much going to be the same answer every year. Like, bro, Baluba, tell us a player, a comp player, how successful they're going to be with a 75. Like, of course, duh. So for defense, to take the offensive player's adrenaline, Mike Wang is saying that anything that's not considered a blow by win for the ball handler drains the adrenaline. But Fanta also said earlier in my last video, I showed you that it's hard to lose all three adrenaline. So maybe it's not as crazy as uh, what they're saying. I wish they would show it, you know? Cause just touching a player, just, I don't know. I would have to see it, bro. Hopefully it works good. Y'all let me know if y'all think it's gonna work good, man. So Mike Wayne says the branching is generally way more responsive in 2K24, that's a W. There's over a hundred new breakdown combos sig double crosses are now equipped well i don't know what he means by that the standing snatchback has been changed i guess they got tired of that animation and i guess the step back that you choose has to do with your snatchback but that sounds like it could be cool hopefully it's fast now this right here is a huge l standing dunks have been one of the most op things in 2K history that's been under the radar. To now add a dunk meter to where you can always get a standing dunk will break the game, I promise you. If they fix it to where it's then manageable, like, you know? Imagine someone runs, just runs straight under the rim. They try to get a little, you know, a position, then they start that meter. That's scary, bro. <laughs> That's scary, bro. Especially like you play ones or like rec or pro am. That's scary, bro. I ain't gonna hold you, dog. Like a lot of like no skill people will probably like like this. Oh yeah, real ball, bro. But bro, telling you that whole broken it's gonna be abused, and that's like real scary, dog. To make like content, you know, like it. It gotta be more skill based. Like you should be. I don't, I don't, I don't like that. So takeover still gonna be. 10 but he he's he's willing to change it based on feedback so we're not going to see greens right away this year it's still delayed i don't like that i miss screaming green and white um yeah y'all let me know how y'all feel about that now look i don't like this being able to green smothered shots is horrible that's like the 18 19 shooting contest system very horrible a lot of no skilled players like that contest system and tried to like verify it through realism and all this little fake stuff but we all know smaller players shoot better contested than taller players so i'm not hearing none of that because they're just better shooters overall on average <laughs> but he but he's saying it's very hard to hit very hard to hit contested shots hopefully bro if you make it to where it's very hard to hit contested shots you have a w game bro that that would that would genuinely be immaculate there's still a pure green window. Takeover perks have been revamped and the OP ones have been toned down, which is accelerator. So, hey, if you're gonna have takeover perks in your game, you definitely have to make the other ones usable. Everyone just picks accelerator. Hopefully it's a cool thing, bro. Now look, they confusing the whole jump shot creator. W. <laughs> I'm gonna be spamming jump shot videos this year. Listen very closely if you're listening to this video. If you want to learn how to shoot and have way more fun on 2K, watch my jump shot videos. I will literally make you able to shoot. A lot of people don't be watching jump shot videos or build videos. They think they're too good for it or whatever. Guys, if you can't shoot, go on YouTube and learn to shoot, bro. Please watch the jump shot videos, bro at least 
at least, bro. Like you missing and stuff is unacceptable, dog. Like grown at grown man. Like come on, bro. But Luba's giving you a tip. He's saying pay attention to defensive immunity with 2K24. Saying the grades matter. Generic jump shots have been removed. All NBA player, RIP. Alley-oops are still metered, but they're not hard. Blocks got a buff in 2K24, but not to 2K22 level. So maybe chase downs are still not there, y'all. I think this is a W. Um, that blocks got a buff. As long as we can still finish quickly on offense. They say if you keep layup timing on, that you're gonna notice a big benefit. They said this every year. Who knows? I'm gonna definitely let you know. Paint defense was a major focus and was reported as the biggest gameplay improvement from our external play test sessions. I think we have a really good balance right now. He says this every year, by the way. So we're gonna find out. He says finishing's buffed and paint defense is buffed at the same time. Doesn't make sense. Hopefully paint defense is buffed, but I really don't have faith. Every green outside of 15 feet, you're gonna get your jump shot celebration. That's cool. Now listen to this, this is big. The contest system changed a lot. The main highlights, greater emphasis on body position instead of just hand location. That's a W. A lot of y'all don't realize just because someone don't have the hand in your face, that don't mean they're not contesting you. If you shoot wide open 100 times, wide open, compared to if you shoot wide open 100 times and LeBron's standing right in front of you, it's gonna be a difference hand up or not but he says big reason for the ghost contest complaints last year i don't think that's why uh, i guess they're saying they patch ghost contest we're gonna see heavier penalties for being crowded at the start of a shot less for out of position late closeouts mm, like if you don't read between the lines this low key sounds like it's gonna be hard to contest people right so people probably gonna be able to shoot some crazy shot to dog i don't like that but he said heavier penalty for if you just start the shot in front of somebody's face which they probably would never make anyway so uh contest system looking a little shaky now look at this catering to sim nation if you look under this tweet you will see that sim nation are really a bunch of casuals and they just want the game to be easy when us meta players comp players when we hear shooting got a buff we're like no what the because we know what that comes with them when they hear they get a buff to how they play they're like yay it's even easier even though it was already easy isn't that crazy it really exposes a lot look generally all advanced shot types spins step backs got a buff in the mid-range and all advanced layups, euros, floaters, reverses, hops, spins, quick scoops, got a buff too. How does paint D get a buff and then all this layup get a buff? Then he says, try to mix up your arsenal of scoring moves and you'll be rewarded. Look, let's go Sim Nation, fix bully next. Ticino after hearing this news, it's really seeming like they're really trying to make the game for uh, Ticino to enjoy it. Look, Sim guy. Look, he liked that. Crazy. They don't want the difficulty. Look. Look. They like that hoe. Solo wreck about to be acrobatic gymnastics. <laughs> oh, Y'all yeah, know they like this. So post scoring is OP. Thanks for the info. Yep. This whole finna be broke. This whole finna be broke. Yeah, this whole finna be broke. Oh god. So you're gonna be able to get more and ones. This seems cool. Hopefully it actually works, bro. I'll be going up, be five people coming to uh block me, and it's it's kind of ridiculous. We're gonna get more green switches. Fade's got a buff in the mid-range and a big nerf at the three. This is a L and a W. The buff at the mid range, there's no need for that. Right? It's, it's really seeming like they're really trying to build it for Ticino. I ain't going to hold you, bro. I think they really want him to rep their game. And they, they saw how 2K was at a certain state when they had the game like this. But a big nerf at the three is a W. Uh, at the midi, it, it needs to be, bro, 
like ridiculous bro like <laughs> like you 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 can't just cater to the casual bots and not cater to like for instance stats just said quick stops you know like why not put quick stops in if you're not gonna do nothing with the midi bro like look look they just want the game to be easier i'm telling you bro i'm telling you bro <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. I be trying to tell y'all. Y'all be thinking I'm a liar. <laughs> they want the fades, the, the mini to be automatic, dog. <laughs> like, y'all are tripping, bro. It's already easy. 37 to 156 now. This is a W. Hopefully, they're actually usable. We're still not going to lose adrenaline in the backside court. That's a W. So you're not going to be able to see a shot meter online. Like, other people aren't going to be able to see a shot meter. I don't like that. I think they're hiding. I don't like that. Shot meter off increases your green window size by 20%. The boost used to be 5%. Now it's 20. I think this is a fix for Zens. Because you can only use Zens with a meter. So I think he's doing the off. So it's kind of like the same. If someone was to use a Zen, it's like the same effect in a way. And, um, hey, like, stop using meter, bro. 20% boost. That's insane. Now, look, they nerfed the RNG shot time. That's a huge W. A lot of people think it was a skill to master the multiple shot timings when it wasn't because ghost contests are a thing. And randomly, when you had full stamina, it would give you a slow release. Randomly, when you had low stamina, it will give you a fast release, right? There wasn't no predictability in it. It was broken. Only the skilled players knew that it would give you random stuff. Completely broken, right? Only skilled players knew that. Crazy. Y'all make sure y'all watch one of these two videos. They said it was my best. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, Everything I'm at made me, now break it down, yo, off the top of the dome, dome.